Hello and welcome back to Switch and Lever. In this episode, we're going to etch a ruler on the blade of the adjustable square we made in a previous video. Electroetching is a method of removing metal by use of electricity and salt water. Where you remove can be controlled by choosing which parts contact the water and not. The pattern itself can be made by various different means. Here we'll use a piece of sticky plastic tape. Make sure that the surface is clean and free of grease before you stick down the tape, and really make sure that you rub the tape down hard. Fold the tape around the back of the metal piece, leaving a small sliver of exposed metal in the back. You can now, using an X-Acto knife, cut out a pattern on top of the tape which you want to etch away, or like in this case you can use a laser cutter to etch away the tape creating a far more intricate pattern. Since we're making something so quite detailed as a ruler, this method works fairly well. Here you can clearly see the exposed metal under the tape, which will be etched away. For the next step we will need two cups of water. One with a saturated salt solution and the other with just regular tap water. The amount of salt isn't super critical, just make sure that you add in quite a bit so the water conducts electricity quite well. Remember the small piece of exposed metal in the back? Great! Now strip the end of a cable and tape it against the exposed metal ensuring good contact. Tape around liberally to make sure that the connection is watertight and that no metal is exposed which you don't want to etch. Next, use your power supply or even a car battery charger and crank it up high. This one is really giving it all it's got. Attach the cathode to the piece of metal you want to etch and the anode to a sacrificial piece of steel and submerge the two pieces in the cup of salt water. Once etched, you simply rinse off the salt water in the freshwater cup. Unwrap the tape and look at the really poor quality etching. Let's backtrack here and see what happened. The piece was put in flat on top of the surface of the water, creating small pockets of air which prevented the electricity to reach all parts of the pattern. This could easily have been prevented by simply rubbing the surface with a bit of water before dunking it into the cup. So, let's remachine the blade while cursing yourself profusely for having to redo work. This time, instead of taping the metal, we spray painted it with gloss black paint and let it dry overnight. Just as the tape, the paint will act as an insulator from the salt water and the electricity. After this, we head back to the laser cutter and do exactly like we did before. Laser etch away the pattern that you desire. Heading back to the etching phase, we tape the back and make sure everything is insulated as before. This time though, dip your finger in the salt water and dab water all over the surface to make sure that the water reaches everywhere. Then again, put the anode and cathode into the salt water, taking care not to touch the exposed anode and cathode, lest you're in for a shocked surprise. A much better result this time, although it could have been etched a little bit deeper. Hope you enjoyed the video, happy etching! Stay tuned for more videos from Switch and Lever.